welcome back to my channel Jordan R. Reed here and today I'm gonna to show you how I create a one light setup it's relatively inexpensive in total all the materials will bring you to around 150 relative to if you had to purchase one of those big strobe lights that might run you about 300 plus depending on the brand that's just the light itself not including everything else that you would need to purchase along with it so if you want to learn how to create an inexpensive one light setup keep watching five four three two one Let's go. the main thing you're going to need to create this one light setup is your inexpensive speed light. So you wanna make sure you purchase a speed light that connects to a trigger or has the potential to connect with a trigger. I am going to be using my Godox TT600. I talked about this uh, speed light in my what's in your camera bag video. However, I did talk about how this isn't my favorite because it has a slow recycle time But when you're doing things like shooting in studio and you don't need to capture moments super quickly This works well So if you are a beginner in photography and you're wanting to play with studio lighting This is gonna be great for you Especially if you don't have the budget to go and spend hundreds of dollars on an expensive strobe this speed light also can be used for events and other things um i don't recommend it as the best one just because it has a slow recycle time but it will get the job done if you don't have the budget for something better and this is going to run you around 65 dollars i purchased this from amazon for 65 as always the links are below to purchase also you will need one of these i don't really know the name for it I think I just call it the speed light ring holder and it'll come up if you Google search it or Amazon search it but what this does is it has a Bowens mount on it so it allows you to connect any softbox that has a Bowens mount and it also has a place for you to use a umbrella as well so this is great because you can use softboxes and umbrellas with this little contraption I purchased this this is the Godox brand one for $15 on Amazon. So between the speed light and this ring together, you're at about $80. Not too shabby. And then of course, you'll just need to make sure you have some sort of stand and you'll also need to have some sort of modifier, whether it's a can, a softbox, an umbrella, that's really up to you. You can find inexpensive softboxes, umbrellas, things like that, especially on Amazon. I'll make sure I link the one below that I recommend and we used it in another one of my videos where we got the perfect white background without using any paper or anything like that. I'll link that video up here too so you guys can go ahead and check that out. So I want to show you guys how I set this up. Oh yes, one thing I forgot to mention. Today we're going to be using my Canon T6i to demonstrate how I use this light. Uh, but you need a trigger as well. This trigger is a Flashpoint R2, if you're not familiar, Flashpoint and Godox, they're essentially the same thing. They just have a different name depending on where you purchase it from, but literally they're the exact same. Their materials and equipment, they work together so you can use them interchangeably. I have a Flashpoint trigger. This is the R2 one, and I think this one runs about $60 on Amazon. It is a little bit pricey, but this is how you make your strobes go off. So it's an important component. And this does connect to this Godox trigger. So I'll make sure, like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. And today, shooting with this Canon T6i once I get us all set up. So in order to connect your ring <laughs> speed light holder thing, you just put it in like so. And then, I wish I had another hand, and then you screw it on. And make sure you put it in with the dial facing up because you want to be able to control your light. Uh, the nice thing about this trigger though is it does let you control your light from the back of the trigger. But you can also turn it on and test light here. You also will need some sort of light stand. If you don't have a stand, your speed light comes with one of these horseshoes. And you can use this. And you just kind of slide it in there and you can use this as your stand 
So you just have to finagle it a funny way. I don't know, it's gonna take some rigging in order to get it set up right, but you can find really inexpensive stands on Amazon as well. But if you don't have one, you can always use this horseshoe. You can bounce this light off of a wall um, if you don't have any modifiers, but today we're gonna use it on the stand with a modifier. So I'm pulling in, whoa, my handy dandy stand. So this is just my C stand and I will place it on the C stand and twist it in. So today I'm doing some rigging myself. I couldn't find anything high enough for my plant. So I have it on a stool on top of a stool. So I just wanna make sure that we are careful. Photography is all about rigging. I swear it's all about problem solving. And a lot of times to solve a problem, if you don't have the materials to fix it, you just gotta rig something, make it work. And th that's just like the life of me as a photographer. So let's go ahead and actually do this more center. All right, so right now I don't have any softbox on here. Let's grab a softbox to put on here. Before we put that on, I wanna show you guys how this trigger connects to this light. So I'm going to spin this light around. Make sure you guys can see it. So whatever I take a picture of, or if I just press this button at the top, um, this is the test button. And because this has a slow recycle time, I have to be patient in between shots. Um, but this is essentially triggering, triggering this speed light here to flash. Pretty cool, right? All right, so next thing, we're gonna go ahead and put this softbox on here. I wish I had more room or three cameras so I can show you guys from another angle, but I don't, so I'm gonna move this over here. Let's see if I can move this back some. Hold, please. I got my situation decently set up. I wish I had a person to test light on, but since I don't, I only have plants. They're living things too, so it counts. Um, I'm not using any special lens or anything like that. I'm just using my kit lens here. And what you're gonna notice is first, we're gonna take a picture with this off. So I'm gonna turn this trigger off. It has a little switch on there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take a picture with it off. And let's get my settings about where I would want them to be. And let's just go ahead and take a picture. Okay, this picture is so dark. So, 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 so dark. So let's turn this on. And now let's try it. It's completely lit up. Okay. Now, what we're not going to do in this video is judge this lighting. This video is not about getting the perfect lighting. It's just showing you how to get a one light setup. If I had a model here and someone who I could really like try to figure out some cool thing, I promise you I would do that. But I'm taking a picture of a plant that's rigged on this thing. Not the best background. I just want to show you how it works. So this is perfect for beginners. This is the perfect setup. Everything together costs around $150. So if you don't have the budget to spend on three, four, five, seven hundred lights, seven hundred dollar lights, grab this. It is a quick fix. It's a great way for you to play and learn light, how light works, how light shows up on people, objects. So go ahead and test it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you have already subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what other photography videos you'd like to see from me. I can't wait to see you guys in my next upload. Until then, peace.